previously on the dragon ship welcome to the dragon ship skull brothers you savages we're gonna have a great show for you today we are the dragon ship we are the rising tide that lifts all ships and join us and i'm gonna bring up our crew today we're gonna talk about when the s hits the fan women do not need an emotional man they need a man let me bring up my fellow shipmates and the crew of the dragon ship glenn lawrence phil foster mark daniels ray dean tour <laughs> laurent from tokyo and of course randall out of phoenix welcome guys how are you guys doing today doing good doing good solid. ah it's fantastic look at us stretching across the globe to have a discussion Kind of on emotionalism and this uh, modern theme that's going on right now. Kind of a narrative that's rolling out there that you can see even in that modified music video uh, that I don't need a man. I don't need a man. I don't need a man. Maybe I want one, but I don't need one. It's been my experience. I actually had somebody write me as soon as that promo went out. Somebody from overseas, I'll say, that's experienced as a traveler. Laurent, this might relate to you being outside of basically Western society in some respects there in Tokyo. And the comment to me was pretty straightforward. It was not being in the U S and being in second world countries and third world countries, and even some first world countries, just being out of that influence. He never, ever hears in the narrative. I don't need a man. It's just not something that's brought up. So I found that very interesting. And he used several countries as examples. It just doesn't come up in the social environment. So I find it really interesting that it's really prevalent in, in our society right now. And in the reality, like you said, in the promo, women do me need men. And even though they say they want emotional men, I mean, you can see all kinds of videos that are telling men be vulnerable, you know, be emotionally available, be that little boy so that she'll really, you know, have sympathy for you. And that's how it should be. Reality is that men need women and women need men. And this dance we're going through right now is kind of contrived and uh, we need each other. But today we're just going to chop it up of why it's really delusional to say you don't need a man when our entire civilization has been built on men and the economic engine that drives us building our society is the male sex drive. Essentially, we're problem solvers. You know, I've said this before. Women don't take offense to this, but women essentially bring problems to men. And we solve those problems. And we're genetically bred. I saw you smiling there, Lauren. But uh, women do bring problems to your life, even the best ones. I'm not saying that in a derogatory fashion. I'm saying it is, it is a pleasure for us to be the useful chimp and solve those problems. It brings a lot of fulfillment to us. Uh, and that's just how it is. It is the problem of pleasure, shall we say. But uh, let's get right into it. Uh, Glenn, you got some comments here because you know that women don't need a man, but they really mean something quite different. Let's get you. Uh, yes. So, you know, women say that they don't need a man. They, they believe they really don't need a man. They think that, you know, just just men are just trash. Like they, they're just discarded. I mean, I was in a pod, our podcast um, panel last night where like these women were like literally saying that like, you know, men are just, you know, big babies, you know, there's so much they have to do to take care of a man. There's like, they're like children. And I'm sitting here thinking like, what are you talking about? Really? Like, is everything that you have has been created by a man, your dishwasher created by a man, you know, um, little things. We all said we don't need a man, but then you know what? We need men when, Men shit needs to happen. And look, I got I got 53 reasons. I found 53 reasons for um, an article that talks about 53 reasons why women need men. Okay. Make sure you get your own copy of Thor's Dominant Masculine Presence Lecture. This is an hour-long lecture that teaches extremely valuable yet simple techniques that will help you to improve your dominant masculine presence. You will learn how easy it is to begin building the foundation for your masculine presence and make yourself into a dominant masculine man. 
who knows what he wants and isn't afraid to go after it. So what are you waiting for? Buy now and start your journey and start building that dominant masculine presence and become the man that you always wanted to be. Production was produced and edited by Glenn Lawrence Presents. It is 100% copyrighted and owned by Glenn Lawrence Presents Media Publications. For further information, reach out to Glenn Lawrence at Glenn Lawrence Presents on YouTube, Instagram, and all other social platforms for inquiries on work.